Hi, today I would like to show you how to properly inspect, disassemble, clean, and reassemble your pool type cover for your Mitsubishi Evolution and STI uh, Hyper Multiplates twin and triple uh, applications. So here I have a brand new cover assembly and I want to like to show you how it should be when it's new. Uh, the diaphragm spring should spin very freely in the cover. It may rock back and forth. This is, this is normal. When the clutch is installed and it's all bolted together, uh, the diaphragm spring is not going to move because it's going to have a load against it. So here I have a returned one that was returned to us for an inspection. Uh, it's been used uh, approximately five, 7,000 miles according to the vehicle owner. Um, you can see it's pretty dirty, a lot of debris. Uh, the, the thing that stands out here is that I cannot move this diaphragm spring as hard as I'm trying. It's not moving. It's not rocking back and forth in the same manner that the new one does. This is a very good indication that uh, there's debris built up inside here, inside the cover, between the cover uh, and the diaphragm spring. This happens from debris in the, in the bell housing as well as wear from the clutch disc. Uh, the centrifugal force will pull into the cover assembly and then what this does is this limits the amount of movement from the diaphragm spring. So the spring isn't going to move as fully as it should or as easily as it should. This could cause issues of slippage, this could cause heavy pedal or disengagement issues. So I'm going to cover how to remove this uh, diaphragm spring and I want to kind of show you how much debris is going to be in this. Okay, so to remove the diaphragm spring from the cover assembly, we have to remove the snap ring. To do this, I'd like to use uh, a flathead screwdriver, a large, preferably large flathead screwdriver as the spring does have tension. Um, if you have a snap ring plier set, you might have one big enough to do this, but I found the best way is using the flathead screwdriver. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a flathead screwdriver and we're going to put it in between here and we're going to twist. Uh, just be careful when disassembling this as the spring, the snap ring could, could fly out once it's, it's dislodged from. Now that I've got the spring dislodged, I'm just going to work the screwdriver around and the spring has now come out. I put a piece of cardboard down here just so I can collect all the debris so I can show you know, how much debris is actually in this cover. So I'm gonna tap it there. As you can see, we already got a decent amount coming out. Uh, first, one, the lower part of the diaphragm spring is gonna come out and then the upper part of the diaphragm spring. Knock these together, get some of this, this debris out of here. And then I'm gonna knock some more out of here. And then there is your pivot ring, which is going to go all the way in the bottom here. So just pay attention when you're disassembling this so that when you put it back together, it goes together in the same manner that it was installed in. So again, that's the lower part of the diaphragm spring, the upper part of the diaphragm spring. There is holes, three of them. And then there's three notches on the other part of the diaphragm spring that those notches will set into that hole and then your, your pivot ring. So now that we got the cover, this diaphragm spring out of the cover, uh, we can knock out all the debris out of here and you can see there is a considerable amount of debris built up into this and what happens is over the time uh, the debris, the diaphragm spring pushing against it, it kind of compacts it into these hard little, hard little spears. I've kind of zoomed in on the, the pile of debris this is, this is pretty bad. I mean, this is obviously this clutch has been used a lot more. Um, and this is definitely the reason why this spring is, is tied up. Um, you can see that there's still some debris in here. Uh, basically, you wanna take all these parts and if you have a parts washer, it would be good to put them in the parts washer, give them a nice bath. Um, if you don't have a parts washer, you could just take some brake cleaner or parts cleaner and a rag and kind of clean all of it off, wipe it down and you want to get all of the debris and get it as clean as possible before reinstalling it. So the next thing we want to do is if you get a pick tool or a really small flathead screwdriver, um, there's a couple ridges in here. There's first there's a ridge where the diaphragm spring snap ring resides. Uh, you kind of just want to run it in here and get all of this you know, debris in here. So let's get, scrape all this out and then down where the, the pivot ring sits, there's also a nice little recess that the debris builds up in. So we kind of want to go through here and just kind of knock it all loose before you know putting in the parts washer or cleaning it with a parts cleaner. So I put these in our hot tank washer. They're all nice and clean now. We showed you how to clean the cover. Uh, the diaphragm springs are all clean. Uh, a couple of things to note is that 
you know, you are going to have a wear ring here, a wear mark here. This is from, you know, the other plate rubbing on it. And it's normal to have this wear uh, mark here as this is where the, the cover is actually, the spring is actually pivoting on this pivot ring. So to reassemble this, the first thing you want to put in is you know, make sure your cover is clean, make sure there's no debris inside here. Uh, obviously put on a fresh pair of gloves so you don't leave your dirty fingerprints from the old stuff. Uh, we're going to set this uh, pivot ring inside the cover. Uh, it is normal for it to be like this. This isn't uh, broken. This is just kind of the way it is, just a wire ring. So I'm going to set this down in here, make sure it's kind of set in this little recess that you'll see inside the cover. Um, next, you're going to take the two parts of the diaphragm spring and the, the part with the, the bearing retainer. And this other part, this part will sit on top of this. And you'll want to locate these, they're small tabs on the spring. We want to locate those in these three holes here uh, when you're putting it back together. So we're going to take this and we're going to set it on top, set it back in here. Um, it can go on either orientation. It's not really going to affect the operation of it just as long as you make sure that those tabs are in those holes on the springs. And then we're going to set this back into the cover here. Again, make sure we got those tabs lined up in those holes. And then we're going to take our snap ring and we're going to start it on one edge and just push it in there and it is all good to go. You can see now it's nice and clean. It moves freely as it should and this should be done ready to go. So this concludes our inspection, disassembly, cleaning and reassembling of the clutch cover assembly for your Hyper Twin or Triple. Uh, applications this would apply to would be Mitsubishi Evolution, Subaru WRX, Subaru WRX STI, Mazda RX-7, Toyota Supra, any of our pool type hyper twin or triple assemblies this applies to. So um, when should you do this? Really anytime you have the clutch out of the vehicle you should at least inspect this and make sure that it moves. Uh, it's a pretty simple process to pop the parts apart and clean it and you know this will ensure that the clutch is going to operate as it should and it will also help have a nice consistent pedal feel. So I hope you enjoyed the video. For more videos like this, check us out our YouTube channel at XCDUSA. Uh, and on social media, you can find us at XCDUSA on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you.